think, but more than 300 million people on this planet cannot afford functional shoes. Just consider all the things it impacts, health, comfort, confidence. Um, our next guest knows that firsthand, so he's on a mission to get shoes to anyone who needs them. That's why he is a rad human. Everybody, let's say hi to the founder of Eco Sneakers, Bobby Johnson. Give it up for him. <laughs> It's great to meet you, Bobby. Thank you. Meet Anthony. Hey, how you doing, Bobby? Hey, I love your work. Oh, thank you, brother. I love what you're doing. Thank oh, it's you incredible. Yeah. I know. I'm so excited to talk about this. So growing up, you were one of the 300 million people oh, yeah. who couldn't afford shoes. That could not have been <laughs> an easy thing. Oh, no, no, no. It was, it was pretty tough. Yeah. Um, I was an athlete growing up. Mm -hmm. So uh, the shoes that we had, because my mother worked really hard, but she didn't give us the... Uh, hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of shoes because she just couldn't. Yeah, my mom neither. Yeah. <laughs> Mine were like $8.99. <laughs> Same thing. Yeah, yeah. So uh, from basketball, I started to run and lift weights. So uh, once I was uh, jogging, running down in uh, Atlanta for a 5K, yeah. and I saw a homeless guy without shoes. So I gave him my shoes, and right there, it lit a passion. Yeah. So this led to you launching yeah. Eco Sneakers. So explain what you do, how you help. Well, Eco Sneakers, what we do is we collect shoes all over. Uh, we collect them in Atlanta, where I'm from, mm -hmm. uh, uh, throughout the south, Southeast and nationally. So those shoes that we get, we bring back, we clean some and repurpose to people in need. Uh, the new one go to homeless people all over. And the ones that, that we clean, they go to, to uh, warming centers, they go to uh, children's shelters. They go a little bit everywhere. Yeah. But the beautiful thing is when we do this, it does more than just uh, um, uh, repurposing shoes. We create jobs. Like uh, young people come to our, our factory, and they help us clean the shoes, bag the shoes, and grade them. Some of the shoes, just, just we, we can't clean them enough, so we repurpose them to uh, um, exporters who take them and give them to micro enterprises who repurpose them all over different countries. Yeah, that's incredible. Now, to this date, I've repurposed Eco Sneakers 450,000 pairs of shoes. Oh, my God. Right. <laughs> that's so cool, man. And also, like, I've been that kid that, like, grew up, you know, you get that bag from, like, church, and it'd be, like, a bunch of, like, stuff that they just you know, hand-me-downs that they'd give for families that couldn't afford stuff. And I'm telling you what, oh, one time I got a pair of Nikes, I was like, hey! I was like, and they were my size, and I was like, I got like a really nice shirt, and I just wore it out. And the confidence it gives you, and like, and just like, it just make it just lifts your spirit, you know, when you don't have stuff like that normally. So what you do for those people, like receiving that is just so incredibly cool. And also that you're not wasting it, and those people are recycling those shoes, and it's not going to waste. But this isn't just, it's not just good for people in need. You're also passionate about the sustainability aspect. We were talking about that a minute ago. I found this knowledge crazy. Go ahead and drop it about the water. Well, it takes 200 and, um, it takes 2,257 gallons of water to make one pair of shoes. What? Did you know that? Yeah. Yes. No 2, one knew that. 2,257 2, gallons of water. So when we're saving shoes That's from, from uh, the landfill, we're stopping these shoes from going into the landfill, which will, it takes 40 to 100 years for them to break down. And when they break down, what happens? It, the chemicals go into the ground. And from the ground, it, it gets into the vegetarian, the veg, vegetation. The veg, vegetation, Yeah, sorry. and it makes us <laughs> sick. That's our soil, it that's our earth. Sick. It yeah. gets back into our bodies. Yeah. So what we, do, what we did is we decided someone's got to do something about it because we get a lot of shoes that just can't be reworn. Mm -hmm. So we patent a system that takes old shoes that just can't be worn, we sanitize it, clean them, and we grind them up, and then we make um, uh, pillows, uh, stadium pillows. Like you we fill the filler. The fillers for the stadium pillows. Uh, we make bean that bags. So cool. And uh, we make stuffed animals. We mm. fill stuffed animals. Matter of fact, I have a couple stuffed animals I like to give you for your kids. Oh, I think this is so cool. <laughs> this is so cool to have the innovative mind to think like this, to like reuse and renew and recycle. That's so cool. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Yeah, absolutely. I, I have a question. Uh, yeah. How can every, everyone in this audience or at home watching this right now send you shoes to uh, repurpose? Well, yeah. You can go to ecosneakers.org and uh, you can just 
email us and we'll send you a, a mailer sticker and just send them back in. That's so, and people want to help. They want to be a part of the change. Mm -hmm. They don't know how. So thank you for that. And thank you for this. Thank My kiddos are going to love this. This is so cool. So on top of helping people in need and the planet, Eco Sneakers engages kids to get involved in their community. Bobby doesn't know this, but we have one of those kids in the audience right now. Say hi to Kenny, everybody. <laughs> So Kenny, how did you get involved with Eco Sneakers? Um, so for my 13th birthday, my parents encouraged me to find a charity that I could really get behind and just support, and that was Eco Sneakers. Um, I'm really, I'm a sneakerhead myself. I'm really into sneakers. Yeah. So I thought what better way than to find a charity that has to do with sneakers. So I asked my friends and family to help donate. I gave them about a month to donate. And we had a goal of about $1,000, and they actually exceeded that goal and hit 1,200. So that was pretty huge. I mean, first of all, what a cool kid you are. What a cool young man you are, I should say. That's awesome. But and secondly, what amazing parents you have to know to like look outside of yourself, teach your kids to look outside of themselves and look around and see a need and be able to help. That's so cool. Like, kudos to your parents. Um, we reached out to Moral Code, who create purposeful, long-lasting, and sustainable leather footwear. They love the work that you're doing at Eco Sneakers and want to help. So they're donating $15,000 in oh. sh new shoes. <laughs> new shoes. Oh, man. It's up. Oh, <laughs> 